What is up, guys? This is Justin, a.k.a. FMDG, and I'm here with episode number 19 of Chandler FC, A Race Up the United States Pyramid. Today, we have a quarterfinal matchup in the National Cup, so let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm excited to share this one with you. Um, first off, if you haven't uh, already subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And if you like what I'm doing, hit the like button. If you don't like what I'm doing, hit the dislike button and tell me down below why. But let's get into the match. Um, as you can see here, we're in first place by 12 points over Columbus Academy, our old rivals, Columbus Academy. Uh, they are tied with Long Island at 70 and then uh, 65 to 43. So there's quite a uh, gap in points there for the playoff teams. But last time we played, we played IMG Academy with that exciting penalty shootout. Where is it? Right here. Since then, we have been on a tear. Jordan Jones doing Jordan Jones things. You can see 2 0 win, 2 0 win against Columbus Academy. That was big. That was on the road. That helped spread that gap out a little bit. A Crossfire Redmen, 2 1 against them. Portland Academy, 4 1. I mean, they were supposed to be the favorites in this league. And they have fallen hard. I mean, only 70 people showing up for that one. Then we played Westchester 4-0 at home. And Long Island 3-0 in their house. So we're really pushing that gap. This, These are the wins we need to have. You know, and cups are nice too. So we have a quarterfinal matchup today against Connecticut, who is in our league. They followed us up last year. Currently, they are in eighth place, uh, last playoff spot. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can do some things. Transfer wise, there's been a couple of signings. Yeah, you guys, you guys know I'm trying to be financially conservative here with the money we have uh, coming or going out. And I did bring in a couple of guys who uh, director of football brought in for um, you know transfer day. He like oh, let's sign this guy, let's sign this guy, let's sign this guy. So um, Bay Bay Router, Bay Router, Bay Bay Router, Bay Router. Uh, Dieter Beiruder, I need to do the face pack update for him. 17 years old. He's already three and a half stars with a potential five star ability. Midfielder, I mean, he looks solid. Determination in a 17, which you know I love me some determination, even though his personality is lighthearted. Uh, I'm not sure. Is that good? Let me know down below if you think uh, lighthearted personality is good. But teamwork 18, work rate 12, technique, passing. I mean, this guy is a stud physically. Maybe not all there, but he's 17. We can work. But I'm excited to get him. He is 275 a week, which, eh, you know, maybe not. Uh, this is kind of one of those things where the assistant manager, or I'm sorry, the director of football made the signing. You know, I don't like appearance fees or substitute fee, unused substitute sub fees. So um, those got put in there. I, you know, since the director of football did this, I just approve them. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see. And then uh, Emmanuel Haro. Coming in as well, kind of playing midfielder, but can also shore up that attacking midfielder role. Termination is a little bit low. I did take a chance on him. Uh, it's one of those things where you don't see the stats when you sign, and he was, I think, an hour and a half away from deadline day. But I was hoping we could get him just to flip. I see he is worth 95K uh, right now. So maybe maybe we can do that, or you know, uh, hopefully make Prieto a little uh, easier to flip as well. I did want to look at something. Uh, Baruder 2.1k. Okay, he's not worth a lot uh, going out. We knew about Murbach. Um, he was already scheduled to go out last year. And then the only other uh, departure is Phil Garcia went out on a loan to Phoenix Academy. Um, pretty decent uh, goalie. He's been climbing the ranks and doing good things, but um, got a loan offer in for him. So he will go. Plus, we're making a little bit of money every month out of that. So let's get into today's match. All right, and here is our squad for today. We're going to go Lopez and goal, Fuentes, Marquis, Gomez, and uh, Tiago Enrique on the wing. Or I'm sorry, um, on the right back side. Ortiz, Magali in the middle, Pinlin and Espinosa in the wings, and Prieto supporting Jones. Now, one thing I just noticed when I was playing around with this, Prieto is a um, little bit iffy in terms of uh, fitness, but he doesn't have any injuries. It's just because he has had a strong match load recently, so... I will be looking out for him. You know, we have Andrew Baruder who can come in. Uh, also, the new 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 signing Haro is out. Uh, I did remember. I did forget he was out uh, injury wise, like right after he uh, started with us. So hmm, we'll work with that. But this will be the lineup we're going with. Submit that team and let's get into the match. 
right, we will tell them to go on out there and carry on straight from where we left off. So a couple of them motivated, which is good. Fuentes Magali got motivated or uh, highly influential. And then Espinosa, we'll, we'll see how that works out. Let's kick that ball off. Good crowd here in Chandler as well. Okay, we do have a throw in three minutes in. Fuentes, get it to Pinlin. Looking for Ortiz. He's got some space in the middle. Jones, Pinlin, Jordan Pinlin with his 10th goal of the season. We're at four minutes in and already up 1-0. All from that nice set piece. Just beautiful passing here. Let, let's watch Pinlin find some space here. See, gets himself open. Finds that space. Just puts it in the back of the net. Goalie has no idea what's going on. Okay, throw in from the other side. Who will take this? Enrique. Oh, what's going on here? We do get it back. Magali over to um, Prieto. Espinoza. That's how we do it. I mean, look at this. Eight minutes in. We've already got two goals. The crowd is pumped. I mean, that looks like a full house here. I don't see any Connecticut fans. I love it. I love it. Also, I'm up. I'm sorry for the lack of videos. I just had a really busy week with work and um, stuff. So everything's well. I just didn't get a chance to get any videos made. Um, I did notice that I had a video that I did not record, which is episode 18, which will be released shortly when when recording this. But it's already been released, of course, if you're watching this. But that one sat in my uh, in my box to turn up Penland, get in. That one sat to be uh, edited for a few days now, and I totally forgot I had it. Sorry about that. Let's look at this again. Enrique Espinoza. Oh, look at that pinlin. I like the little fake they did here with Jordan Jones. That was pretty slick. We are dominating just 15 minutes into the match. Another throw in. Fuentes to Penland to Preto. Oh, he was going. He was going for Espinoza over there, I believe. But they do have a little bit of a counter going, but we do have guys back. Espinoza tries to get it, gets taken down, taken to the middle of the field, pushing it back. Let's see if we can get that. Gomez gets it. Penland, oh, he's got space. He's got Jordan Jones. He's got Jordan Jones. Okay, okay. Well, we'll take that. That's a corner. We're doing well with set pieces so far in this match. So let's see what we can do here. <laughs> Preto with it. Espinoza. Boom. I am liking that. Sorry, headphone users. If that was loud, I'll hopefully try to edit that out a little bit. Let that sound down. Espinosa, look at this. Pareto gets it. Espinosa just kind of walks backwards and finds that top corner just enough to get it in. The crowd is hyped. All right, let's see what's going on here. They have a goalie's got it. Enrique over to Espinosa. Ortiz push it forward. Jones over to Espinosa. Pinlin. He was going for that hat trick. He was going for that hat trick. He almost had it. Goalie just got a fingertip on it. We got a corner out of that. Gomez is going to take that. Gomez with it going mid post. Preto's going to come to. Oh my gosh. He's going to shoot it out of the stadium. Okay. I like that. I like that attempt. All right. Enrique Espinoza looking for Jordan Jones. Can't seem to find him. Thought he was going to put pressure on the goalie there. Fuentes ends up with it. Poor goal kick from them. Penland. Let's look at Ortiz over to Jordan Jones. Jordan Jones, oh, that was just, that was butter. That was so smooth and silky. That was beautiful. Oh, get in. Let's look at this. I mean, this pass right here, this is perfect. Penland to Ortiz, look at Jordan Jones. He's just, just right out of the goalie's reach, but right in Jordan Jones. That was a perfect pass. Oh, that was beautiful. He's nowhere near offside. Look at that. Stop. Okay, we have a corner kick. Preto going near post. Espinoza. Just a little wide with that. I thought he was going to get a hat trick before the half. The half trick. Is that what that is called? Half trick? We'll see what we can do. Preto. Oh, Jordan Jones. Nope. But Marky gets it back. Gomez with it. I see Marky's on the yellow. I didn't realize that. Preto. Fuentes. Penland. Ortiz. We got there we go. Fuentes on the wing. Getting it in. Jordan Jones. No. Preto. Enrique, who's been a beast. I mean, he's he's one of our youth players. I like what he's providing for the club. Ortiz into Espinosa. Oh. Oh, so close. So close. Are we going to watch that again? What, what was that? We're going to VAR? Oh, he was. It was Jordan Jones who put him offside. Espinosa was on. I, mm, mm. 
Okay, we will take that. I mean, look at that. Look at that. And they don't have a single shot on target or shot at all. Uh, analytical data, they are going to be back, I'm sure. Their, their striker is pushed up far, but the rest of them are all back there. And we are almost all <laughs> up in the midfield line. That's beautiful. That is a thing of beauty to see. All right, let's get in the dressing room. Let's, uh, we can't pump fist, but we'll say everyone there is motivated. Let's look just to see if there's anything that needs to be tweaking. Uh, maybe spread out just a smidge with that, and that would be the only change we will make. Let's go. They've already making two subs. All right, they have a, we have a throw in here. Fuentes just gives it away. Poor, poor throw in there, but Marky's going to get it. Lump it up forward. I don't know why we do that. Uh, they're supposed to be doing shorter passing, but we do end up with it. Espinosa to Preto. I mean, finally we collect this. Oh, look at this. Pinlin on the wing, looking to make some things happen. Jordan Jones. Oh, man. We have three players on a brace right now. Who is going to get the hat trick first? Who's going to get it? Oh, my gosh. Espinosa. Look at that pass. Look at that pass to Pinlin. And Jones just finds an open spot. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Left foot puts it on the right side of the net. Goal! Beautiful job there. Another throw in Enrique over to their guys. Who gets it to McGolly? Espinosa wide open on the wing. Jordan Jones. Oh, he had that. <laughs> he had that. Okay, we get a, do get a corner out of that. Uh, Pareto's going to take this one. He's going in looking for options. Nobody home, and that's the end of the highlight. I do want to look at taking Pareto out. He's sitting on 8-5, though. I mean, the man is a beast right now. But, oh, yeah, all of a sudden, we, these guys all hit red. So I'm not going to take Penland or Espinosa out because they're on Hattie's Hattie watch. But we'll, we'll take Pareto out. Let's check out um, Baruter. Baruter. I think that's what we're going to call him. Baruter. Dieter Baruter. And that will be the change we'll make there. Just to not break Prieto and see what Baruder can do. All right, Magali is going to come out here. He is not having a good game. Sitting on a 6-6 six, six while everyone else around him is doing awesome. We'll bring in Kevin Andrew. I'm not really happy with Ramos lately. He's just not finding a way to get into the team. So that's why I didn't pick him there. Oh, I do need to bring Marky out perhaps. Let's look at that. Marky can come out. Him and his yellow card for Julian Evans. Make that change. That's an easy one. And let's go. I mean, this is going to be quiet. We got three guys on a brace. Can someone get a hat trick? Pinlin with it. Oh, he's finding space. Baruder crossing the field to Enrique, who's got tons of space. Looking for options. Andrew Espinosa. Oh. <laughs> so much right there. Okay, we got our corner kick here. Who's going to take it? Andrew with it. Going far post. Jones. Oh, Jones was there. But we do have Gomez on it. And that's the end of the highlight. Come on, I want a hat trick from somebody here. Enrique Espinosa. Back to Enrique. Andrew Espinosa. Jones. No. Evan's going to get it to Fuentes. The highlight continues. Penlin. Jones. Oh, what a stop by the goalie. That was a fantastic stop by their goalie. Highlight is still going on. So what is going to happen? He's Oh, that was a heck of a kick. That was a heck of a kick. Lopez. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Highlight still going on. Let's see what we can do. Jordan Jones. Jordan Jones. Nope. Can't get it. Let's see what we can do. Penland with it. Penland on the left side. Looking for options. Andrew, he's going to kick it back out to Fuentes. We still got time left. Oh, I thought Espinosa was going to get that one. Enrique with it. Over to Andrew. Espinosa. Back to Enrique. Jordan Jones getting that hat trick. Nope. Espinosa. He, he's not going to get it from out there. Is this going to be it? This is the longest highlight ever. Espinosa. Oh. My gosh, Enrique, Andrew, Espinosa, Baruder, Enrique. He's looking. Let's get let's get someone a hat trick over here. They have the ball. Mm, Penland's gonna collect it. This is a super forever highlight. Jordan, oh, he was. I thought that was it. No one gets a hat trick, but we have three guys with the brace. I'll take that. Look at that. Oh, dominating. Almost a four in XG. I don't think I've seen that before. Uh, 25 shots. They did not have a single shot on target, and they came up with us last year. They're supposed to be good. Hmm. Maybe not, but we will get in. We will outstretch arms. Tell them I'm very pleased. Everyone is inspired and motivated. A couple of complacents, but, you know, Corby, I don't really want to upset him. He is one of our future stars. 
But uh, let's see. We will probably come back for that semifinal match uh, for sure. Let's see what they say. So proud. Decent match. On to the next one. Love Espinoza. Espinoza. Lots of love for Espinoza for sure. I love that guy. So let's see. What do we got here? Oh, we think 19K. That's huge. Okay, vets meet. We'll do that offline. Let's tell him he is the stud. Put him around. Yes. Um, one thing I haven't showed you guys is the dynamics. I mean, we are in pretty good shape. Evans, I, I don't even know what this one was. Honestly, I, director of football handles all that. But everyone loves us except for Evans, which is fine. But we are doing really well. Um, happiness. You know, McGrain, I'm not too concerned with him being a whiny baby. And then Andrew's a little concerned with training, so that's interesting. I have to look into that. Uh, Evan's just content overall. But we have really, really good morale going on. Uh, we will come back probably for that semifinal. Yeah, that's a, that's a decent amount of time to play offline. So, yes, we will come back for that semifinal matchup in the National Cup. All right, guys, thank you so much. That was episode number 19 of Chandler FC, a race up the United States Pyramid. Um, super excited. It was a big win. And we actually, uh, I didn't tell you during the match, but we sold out in, in our house. So that was awesome. 18, 1800 plus, uh, fans in there. So that will be good for money, but I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah. <laughs>